I told you guys. Facebook. It'll never go away. Can you believe this? Huge news. Huge news. Facebook. Luxottica. That's how I said it's pronounced, so don't judge me. Uh, team on smart glasses. Are you kidding me? Smart glasses? Facebook is teaming up with Luxottica to build augmented reality Ray-Bans. So Ray-Bans, by the way. I mean, you know Ray-Bans. Are you rich? Eh, if you're rich, you know about Ray-Bans. I mean, look at these. Look at these glasses. Um, and let's talk about the prices, obviously. Wow. So obviously, this is a luxury um, sunglass maker. They also make normal eyeglasses, but um, Ray-Bans are luxury glasses, and they are teaming up with Facebook to make augmented reality glasses. So obviously, this is thing like the Hololens coming out. Um, <coughs> that is out. Um, this is, in my opinion, the future. Um, so smart glasses, codenamed Orion, um, will get to consumers between 2023 and 2025, obviously a while is a way out, but, um, with technology like this, you should perfect it before you roll it out. Um, it's an ambitious project, uh, an ambitious project as Facebook is looking to the glasses as a smartphone replacement, uh, including the ability to take calls, see info via a small display and live stream what the wearer sees and allow interaction with AI voice assistants. Wow. Um, I mean, this is crazy. I, I don't know about you, but this is huge news, and it is the future, honestly. Um, this is what's coming up. I think there will, will come a time in which um, obviously our little pocket computers known as smartphones obviously are a big factor right now. I think there's going to come a time when we limit the number of devices we use and stuff like this is actually what's coming out. Um, so smart glasses which just allow us to instead of having our phone we can look things up on them, um, live stream our settings, we can record. I think this is the future, and, I, and if you've ever seen any movies that talk about "quote unquote" the future, these are the kind of products you see. It's not always smartphones you see; it's these kind of like glasses and and stuff like that, uh, visors. It's these kind of things that you see that are literally the future. Um, and I think this is going to be the next big product here. I think Facebook's going to pull it off. Obviously, Ray Ban's a very good company. Um, make very good sunglasses, uh, very good glasses in general, and people pay a lot of money for them. Very stylistic too, and I think that's a factor too. Um, people I don't think are necessarily going to get involved in this if it's if they're just an ugly looking pair of glasses, um, but I am super excited for this. This is just the future of technology, and it's going to be really exciting to see um, where this goes. Um, definitely I'll keep an eye on any sort of news. As a Facebook shareholder, you should be too, because this could be big for them. And they're always looking on ways to expand. Obviously, we have Libra, uh, which they're looking on seeking, uh, getting approval from, from a lot of the world's uh, nat national banks. And I don't think everyone will approve it, but regardless, uh, this is just a company that's always looking to improve and always looking to get into a new market. This is a good company. Facebook's a great company. So I'm going to go on to a couple different points of news uh, just to uh, make it just not all entirely about Facebook. So here's some cool news points. Um, so Chewy just reported earnings in after hours. Um, it's down, but it reported sales growth of 43%. Isn't that pretty cool um, if you're an investor in Chewy? But obviously they posted a loss uh, on, the, on the quarter. As you can see here, lost 21 cents per share, um, but posted a revenue of 1.15 billion. I mean, to me, that's pretty exciting. Uh, see revenue uh, increase like that. I think they're in a phase where they're really just trying to increase revenue, and after that, we'll go ahead and um, and see how they can start making it profitable. So I think they're at a point now where they can focus on profitability. Obviously, when you're putting up a billion dollars in sales in a quarter, you're looking good. Um, so I think they just need to work on profitability now. That's a big, big key. Um, nothing good there. Uh, let's forget about that tab. Um, so 
<clears throat> another bad day for department stores. Department stores are getting hammered. Um, Cleveland Research says quarter to date trends are below expectations. Uh, observations such as traffic um, and promotional activity are lower. I mean, come on, Cleveland Research. Who is this piece of garbage? Guy has no clue he's talking about. I think retail's doing super well. And a lot of people are just fighting against these brick and mortar retailers. But honestly, traffic's been growing. As someone who works uh, for a retail company, at least I know my traffic's growing, so if traffic's growing in my particular business, I think traffic's probably growing elsewhere. Um, and I've noticed it too. I don't know what they're noticing, what what numbers. They don't have any numbers. They're just basing this off of observations they're saying. I just don't see it. Um, I just think it's you know good old market manipulation, uh, making people sell stock because they're afraid of it. Obviously, J.C. Penney's on the list. Get out of J.C. Penney and Macy's and Dillard's, but uh, Kohl's and Nordstrom, good companies to own. So obviously, unfairly hammered there. Um, screw Cleveland Research. Come on, man. What are you doing? Um, and one more, just just show the little guy some respect. The little penny stock some respect. Plug Power signed an agreement with NG uh, E N G I E. To combine E I O E I O E I O N E O to combine their expertise, bingo was the name, uh, and capabilities in order to accelerate the adoption of hydrogen and fuel cell systems. Um, partnership allows global customers to easily implement hydrogen technology into their operations, seamlessly purchasing hydrogen fuel cells and accessing clean energy. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned it here before, but Plug is a speculative stock I've been looking at quite a bit, um, and I like the company's business. Obviously, they lose a lot of money as is because they're a small company. They're working on expansion right now and not necessarily focused on a profitability, but it's a company I really like, and something like this is exciting because I believe as far as um, Future Fuel, uh, which is another company, so don't get confused, but Fuel the Future... Um, I think this, this company is going to be well aligned for the future, and I think if they do things well, they're going to be very successful in the future. Um, just need to sign some good agreements and get out there. So um, that's all I have for you today as far as news is concerned, so I hope you enjoy.